That was CBS 2 exclusive, a previously planned high-end apartment building in Harlem. Now being turned into a homeless shelter, it has neighbors angry. And for the first time tonight, we're hearing from the former owner. We've been telling you about the building along Adam Clayton Powell Boulevard for the past week. Only CBS 2's John Diaz has this exclusive look inside. It's been the center of attention in central Harlem, 2201 Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard. And in an exclusive interview where he concealed his identity, the former owner told me how it became vacant more than a decade ago. The building was 90% complete and that the builder defaulted. He says he then fired the builder, who retaliated by putting liens on the high-end complex, which even has a pool on the roof. It resulted in a default on the construction loan, and he says the building was auctioned off. A $50 million building for $410,000. But he has no idea how another owner acquired the building years later and started to work with the city to turn it into a homeless shelter. It's a cloudy title, so that's why they're not able to rent the building out because they can't because they don't have a certificate of occupancy. A Department of Social Services spokesperson saying it will quote serve as high quality transitional housing for long term New York City families. But residents say they want permanent affordable or low income housing for Harlem residents. We need you to come together with the community and we make need to make a decision for the space together. Thursday Tiffany Fulton of Silent Voices United and other leaders got a look inside the building for the first time. Exclusive photos show the once luxury building, which had 35 units, converted into 54 with bunk beds all over. Neighbors say construction was done secretly. I'm walking out of here feeling like there's a lot of shenanigans going on in Harlem. They converted apartment units in there and nobody saw the construction activity taking place. So that's a little strange. And residents say their fight is far from over. They have a community rally scheduled for this Saturday, seeking more transparency from the city. From Central Harlem, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.